Hey, how's it going? This is Daniel. Uh, today we're going to talk about centering things with uh, CSS. So, um, in case you're a total newbie, uh, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet Language. And if you're a web developer, you're basically going to spend a lot of your time writing this. So it's good to learn how to do it quickly and efficiently. Now, the first most important thing is here, right now I'm inside Chrome Developer Tools, which is available. If you're watching this in Google, in Google Chrome, you can play along in your own Chrome Developer Tools just by pressing F12 if you're on a PC or Control, I mean Command uh, Option I, I think, if you're on a uh, Mac. Don't sue me if that's not the right combination. So um, do that to enable your um, developer tools if you wish. Now in developer tools you can modify the CSS in real time. So here by clicking this little icon here I can go over and I'm just going to select this square and you can see I can highlight the styles there and I'm just going to go and change the background color slightly just just for fun. And as you can see it's, it's, it's changed. See the CSS is fun. I find it to be the most fun. Now the story here is the client, this is the client's logo, and he's requested that the logo be centered both horizontally and vertically within the box, and that the box itself be centered horizontally and vertically uh, within the screen. So as a CSS developer, it's your job to do it, and we're going to get the job done. So first we have to center this uh, horizontally, and that's the simplest to do, because we just have to select this, and we're just going to make a new rule here for inner logo. You can make a new rule by clicking this plus that says new style rule and um, when you do that we're just going to make a new rule for that and on div inner logo we're just going to say text align center now when you do that bam it's going to center uh, horizontally that's the easiest way to center things it only centers text it doesn't really center um, uh, div tags or, or other sort of elements so that's going to center that horizontally now for this we, you can see here's the square and if we just apply text align center. That's not going to work. It's not going to center it because it's a square. So to center something like this, you need to, or you can do, I should say, margin auto. Now margin auto, if you look at this square, these orange parts um, next to it uh, represent the margin that um, the square has. So when you say margin auto, you're basically saying calculate the margin so that they're as equal as possible. So in no time flat, we've centered both of these um, horizontally, which is the easy part. Now, centering, centering things vertically without using JavaScript is um, a little bit tricky, but it's important not to use JavaScript because JavaScript is uh, slow um, on most devices. So on this div inner logo, what we can go ahead and say is we're just going to say position absolute. Now, when we give it position absolute, it's going to have a completely different kind of positioning relative to the next element above it that has relative position. So as you can see, it's just come out of its blue square here because now it has absolute position. It's being positioned relative to the window. To make it be positioned relative to the square, we have to give the square a position of relative or absolute. So now, to center something with position absolute, you have to give it a top right and bottom quality of zero pixel, and then say margin auto. Now, a lot of the time, you have to specify a height, which means it is complicated, kind of, to center things vertically um, without using JavaScript that have a variable height. But since the height in these aren't going to vary at all, uh, we don't have to worry about that. So we just specify a height. For this bad boy, we're just going to say 15 pixels. And as you can see, it's centered um, vertically. And it's not quite centered because the height I've specified isn't correct. But when the height is correct, you can see it's centered vertically. Great. So that's looking really good. Now finally, we've got to center this square again. Now it has position absolute. Margin auto isn't going to work anymore until we apply just a few quick changes. And it's centered. Now you'll notice this square already has a height. So as you can see, the outer element is centered relative to the window. As the window change sizes, it's going to change sizes too. And the CSS there, I'm just going to try and make that available to you um, to uh, copy and paste if you want to make your own square. So I hope you've enjoyed and do, do have fun centering things in CSS.